Hello, I'm Dr. Lindsay Grossman, Chair of the Department of Pediatrics at Bay State Health. I'm standing in Bay State Children's Hospital, a fully accredited children's hospital located within Bay State Medical Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. Each year, more than 40,000 children from our region come to us to receive advanced, specialized medical care in a warm and loving environment tailored to meet their unique needs. Our 110-bed facility provides care across the spectrum of childhood, from our tiniest babies treated in the neonatal intensive care unit, the only one of its kind in Western Massachusetts, to inpatient units specifically designed to meet the developmental needs of infants, children, and adolescents. Kids receive the highest level of pediatric critical care services, whether for serious trauma or complicated chronic disease, in our pediatric intensive care unit. Our Children's Hospital Surgery Center, the Sadowski Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Center, and our emergency room just for kids help make the hospital experience as positive and comforting as possible for children and their families. In addition, we offer a complete array of outpatient specialty services, diagnosing and treating conditions as varied as developmental delay or cystic fibrosis to asthma, cardiac malformations, or child abuse and neglect. At Bay State Children's Hospital, we offer the very highest level of care to children and their families. And we do it here in Western Massachusetts, close to their home. As our motto says, children deserve the best. We are transforming futures and fulfilling dreams. You can join us in this important work. Here are some of our friends and colleagues to tell you more. Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm seven years old. Hi, my name is Kiara. One, two, three, I'm five and a half. Hi, my name is Curtis LaDuc. I'm in sixth grade. When a child is sick, they're off the beaten track. They're not on the path of their journey, of their childhood journey. Our job is to get them back on that right path. Each person that cares for a child at Bay State Children's Hospital does it with such commitment and passion. Um, they see that sparkle that's in each child, and that sparkle is hopes and dreams and potential. I'm a big sports guy, lacrosse being my favorite sport, football. I'm playing tennis right now. Swimming and story time. I do a lot of singing, a lot. I've been dancing for six years. You see them come in sometimes as small as 11 ounces and watch them develop, you know, outside their mom and they're supposed to be inside. And we've come so far in knowing how to help that along developmentally. The Safe Children's Hospital is a hospital to make people better. <laughs> and to have babies for that. I was born a little bit early. I was supposed to be born in fall, but I came out June 3rd instead. So I stayed in the hospital for a little bit. And I came home. I was diagnosed with lymphoma uh, two years ago. You think about cancer, you think of being miserable, laying down every day, sick, not able to do anything at all. But with the help and the treatments that they gave me, I was able to feel better. The doctors there are great, the nurses are great, the child life specialists are just perfect. When I found out that Kiara had sickle cell, um, it was uh, overwhelming. Um, I thought that I wouldn't be able to make it. At Bay State Children's Hospital, I know Kiara's getting the best care she can get. I couldn't even think of the possibility of not having them in our life because they had helped us tremendously. Um, I don't think we would be the family we are today. Ella was born 26 weeks gestation. Um, so she was a one pound, 12 ounce preemie. She was in the NICU for four months. I felt like they're, they're her mommy right now and they're the heart and hands that I can't be for her right now. And so that was amazing to me, to be able to leave feeling at ease that she was in good hands. We didn't recognize, you don't really notice how important a hospital like Bay State is until you have a child like Ella. Ella is 16 months old and she is a joy. The cost of providing child and adolescent health care is substantial. And often 
not being fully reimbursed by whether it be Medicaid or other insurers. So therefore, one needs to lean on the generosity of potential donors, people who have a philanthropic zeal. Community support affords us the ability to get the specialized equipment that we need. Just recently, we were able to have a digital echocardiogram for the outpatient pediatric units. We also had a vein viewer that was donated to us. Um, and it, we, what you do is you put it over the baby and it illuminates the veins to make the, the IV start a little easier. Giraffe beds, this bed will change into an isolate by just lowering the cover. And that's made a huge difference on stabilizing the baby. Philanthropy. Philanthropy. I have not heard of that, that big word. Philanthropy. A society which provides care for children and their families is really doing the right thing. It's, it's, it's making the society healthier in a broader sense, not simply in, in some epidemiologic sense of, of disease. Bay State Children's Hospital, it's really an oasis in our community. Our twins were in, in the NICU for over three months and um, our, our youngest daughter, she was in there for about a week. And we said, what would we have done without the help of these people? And we, we like to give you know, back to our community in different ways. And we were thinking, what would be the best thing? And, and really, the Bay State Children's Hospital. Our children were very young. And we felt very blessed that they were healthy. And we looked around us. And a lot of people weren't as lucky as we were. And I think that. That really was the reason. We just wanted to do something for someone else and build a great hospital here in Springfield. Having that resource in our community is so important and it makes Springfield a better community. You need to support it and it'll make you feel good doing so. Take some time out of your day and come down to the hospital and take a tour through it and see the children there, see the children's faces, see what's being done for them, and see the kind of facility that we have, and see what the possibilities could be. And then go back and think, how can I help? Your generosity is the foundation for what we do. Hi, I'm Susan Toner, Vice President of Development and Executive Director of the Bay State Health Foundation. You've just learned how others feel about the exceptional care offered at Bay State Children's Hospital and why they choose to invest in this care. Won't you please join us on our mission to care for the health and well-being of our courageous and spirited children? Because at Bay State Children's Hospital, children deserve the best!